and welcome back to Dead Secret, where all the fun in the world is down in the basement, because that's where we're stuck. We can't get out of this house now. We need to find a way out, but we need to see if we can find all the clues first before we uh, get outside. And we got some sliding doors here. September 14th, 1964. Are you enjoying yourself, Harris? Does it excite you to shun me, to treat me like garbage the way that you do? When you sit in bed with that little slut, do you smoke cigarettes and laugh about me? <laughs> Okay, she's sick. I know all about you, Harris. I know about the girl who's living at your house. You're old enough to be her grandfather, for Christ's sake. You should be ashamed of yourself. I'm ashamed of you. The whole town is ashamed of you. I think you're, I don't know, thinking things that aren't there. You are a laughingstock, Harris, a public spectacle. Now you have that Sawyer kid running your errands for you. You don't even leave the you don't even have the guts to show your face around town. Really, Harris, I thought you were more of a man than that. Oh God. You cheat on me, bankrupt me, and deny me help in my hour of need and still you are not content now you insist on tarnishing my reputation with your lecherous antics do you think of no one but yourself can you really be the man I knew wow she is so unfair I knew it was Cynthia my man in Louisville refused my bet this year, Harris. If I can't play the races, I don't know how I will survive. Your little vendetta, vendetta will be the death of me. Do you understand? When they find me lying in the street, starved and thin and dead, from exposure, the blame will be squarely upon your head. Not really, because if she's got a gambling problem, she's kind of done that to herself. Yeah. Okay, paint on the brushes is hard. Can I have that bleach? That can be a weapon. No. A set of chemicals. None of them are labeled. Unknown chemical. Well... Oh, 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 that scared me. I knocked a coffee pot off the shelf just by touching it. Well, where did that chemical mixing station go? Wasn't it over here? There it is. Maybe I can make a weapon.
kind of mixture am I trying to make? I should figure that out first. Okay, in an emergency, you may need to identify a foreign substance. Many chemicals can be isolated by observing the color. I need a drink, excuse me. Okay. Uh, the color of the flame that they produce when they're burned. The chart below lists several examples. I've got five unknown chemicals. Can I just set it on the table? No. <clears throat> well, there's nothing left to do but open the door. Whoa, a secret panel. This crank looks like it's made to be detached. Better take it with me. Oh, I think I've seen this before. It's a freezer. And it's locked. And I know I had a key. Maybe it's in here. I know it's locked with padlock, but... Where did that key go I found? Fooey, fooey. bottle of lemon juice. A bunch of old paint. All right. Can I have that wood? Can I have that? Can I have that wood? Keep walking past it. Can I have that wood? Ugh, I'm looking for a weapon here. I added lemon juice to the tray. I don't know. Maybe it isn't. Okay. Ugh.
Well, I put lemon juice in there. One of the boards here is loose. Another sliding door. Damn it, the slot is rusted shut. I can't turn the crank. I need to find a way to remove the rust. Put some lemon juice on it. No. We pour an unknown chemical. Can we find some sandpaper? Ugh. Okay, we need some rust remover or some sandpaper. A box of matches. Can you burn rust? Can you burn it? No. Seems to me I'm going to have to make a chemical to dissolve the rust. Oh, well, okay. Copper. Sodium borate, known as borax. Copper sulfate. Lithium chloride. You know, I don't know what all these chemicals do. Soda ash. Okay. All right, lemon juice. Sodium chloride. Copper chloride. Uh, 
Okay. I made a paste for removing rust. I don't need these other chemicals anymore. Okay. What am I going to do with that frozen coffee can? I can move the crank now. That was pretty handy of me. Oh, a mine shaft? Really? Well, it is the only way out. This is a good time to review my notes, okay? Notes. Cynthia Peckman wanted retribution, an apology, money, okay. Cynthia is deeply in debt. All right, she's the one who's, okay, betting on horses or whatever. She inherited Bullard's entire estate. What could she have done with it? Graham Wellington has a secret. He's woodcutter. Graham Wellington has been trying to steal Bullard's research for himself. He must have murdered Bullard. Bullard was being blackmailed about uh, Oh, Bullard was being blackmailed about relationship with Josie. Somebody named James Lowry. Who is James Lowry and why did Bullard want to keep his existence a secret? There's more to the story. Let's see where this passage takes me. Well, I'm going to have to save this for next time because we're close to 20 minutes here. So thank you very much for watching and I hope you're having an absolutely awesome day. Bye.